All right, I should be ready now to go back inside. We've got a fresh stack of torches there. Just emptied out my inventory of a bunch of trash. Let's go right back inside the Woodland Mansion. And uh, I suppose we could go back to, like I said earlier, go back to the second floor. See if there are any hidden rooms, just like we saw on the first floor. There was that one hidden room, so... Oh, oh. I don't know if, uh... Yeah, this guy's got to be, like, above me or something. There is a skull fellow right there, though. I suppose I'll take care of him. Ba-boom! And... Let's do a ba-boom! There we go, he's down. Nice. And what is this room right here? Is this is... Okay, this is not a secret room. But, uh, did I even... Uh, yeah, there's nothing here. As far as I can see, at least. Oh, God, what is... Oh, jeez. Oh, I guess, like, yeah, a creeper explode here. I forgot about that. <laughs> jeez! Nothing here. And, yeah, nothing there. Nothing here. I don't know if there is a secret... Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, that's accounted for. This is accounted for as well, right? Wait, no. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. I don't think there is a secret room on the on the second floor, you guys. At least as far as I can see right now. It seems like all the rooms are accounted for, and of course, this is all windows here, so... Nothing, uh, nothing out of the ordinary here. Except for maybe, like, right here, perhaps? Let's see. Ooh, wait, what in the world? Oh, wait, no, it's, yeah, this is the cat. Oh, did I? I think I had iron back at the, uh, the thing. I guess I could make shears. And you kind of dig through all this, I guess, just to dig through all of it, see if there's like a hidden chest hidden within the cat sculpture, hidden within the uh, the pillager or the illager with a torch sculpture. Let's actually go back because I feel I think we have a little bit of iron back. Let's just make a couple shears or, you know, get a couple iron to make some shears. And I'd say it'd be worth it, especially if there actually is anything hidden within those like random cat sculptures. Because I think there's like, what, two or three cat sculptures we come across so far? So I wouldn't be. Yeah, look at that. We've got enough iron right there. No problem. Let's get ourselves a uh, shears. There we go. And uh, let's get rid of the speed. I don't know. What should I get rid of? At least right now, I'd say health is a lot more important than speed. At least we'd be able to heal up a little bit more. And I think even the health potions are detrimental to these illagers, right? They, they should do damage to the illagers, perhaps? Or maybe, I guess because they're not undead? Yeah, because I think because skeletons and zombies are technically undead, right? Uh, throwing a health potion on them, like, damages them, you know? But on an illager, those guys are, like, normal. So I assume putting a health potion on them, eh, it does break it a little bit faster. Throwing a health potion on them would actually heal them up and stuff, you know? So probably probably want to avoid that. But I suppose we could just, instead of digging every piece of wool here, we could just dig, like, strips of it here and there. Kind of like strip mining, you know? That way we cover as much area as possible to see if there actually is a hidden chest within these these sculptures over here so let's dig through this cat so far not seeing anything yet though so seems like uh, it might be nothing although it's probably hidden within the head or something if there now yeah, there's nothing there i guess if anything at least we're getting a lot of blocks that we could use to uh to cover up water oh yeah before we go to the third floor do we want to take care of those villagers that are in that one that one place that we kind of patched up perhaps and instead of going through the front that's completely flooded Perhaps we could dig through the wall or something like that to get in there. Yeah, let's try that. Just take care of them. But yeah, so far, I, I do not think there's actually anything in this cat. There might be inside the uh, the, Ill the uh, Illager downstairs, though. But of course, that's downstairs, so probably go back to it a little bit later. But right now, yeah, the cat. I guess because we dug through this cat, I think there's like two or three other cats. I guess we could just kind of rule those out as having any loot inside of them as well. Look at this thing. Completely demolished. Completely griefed. <laughs> All right, well, we can probably get rid of the shears in place of, uh, I don't know, black wool. There you go, just in case I need it for blocking off water, but speaking of such, is there any water here? Oh, yeah, there's another cat right there, yeah. Now, there's water here still. There you go, so that's blocked off. Uh, there's water here. Let's see if we can block this off, at least from the outside. There might be water on the inside still, but at least from the outside, the water will be blocked off, hopefully. So there you go. And that should be good. Oh, and, oh. Is that good? I think this. Yeah, hey, look at that. We got rid of the water, at least from out here. So that's great. All right, well, let's see. Oh, let's get a little bit of food. That way, if we do get hit, we can start healing up and regening immediately. So there you go, getting some bread. And let's get. Uh, let's break through this. Oh, I could already. Yep, I see both of them. There are two of them in there. There's one right there. Oh, got a hit. Wait, hold on. Is that the road one? I think that's a normal one. There's the road one. There he is right there. He's summoning in his demons, and he's down. He's dead. He's already dead. Let's get ready to fight these demons. If they even come through here, they're probably like in this room. Although I'm pretty sure I saw them like go through walls earlier, right? What's this room though? Oh, it's another cat. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we could break in through here. Or okay. Well, yeah. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. Yeah. Is that a second one? Okay. That's just a minion guy. That's just a regular illager, I suppose. There we go. One shot on him, and he is down. That's good. Okay. 
Whew. Any more? I think we're good. Yep, another totem of a dying. That's our third one, you guys. We have one in our hands right now. Yeah, look at this. It's still flooded over here. That's the reason why I wanted to go around. Sheesh. <laughs> oh, man, we need to pick it up. I don't have inventory space. Uh, get rid of the wool. Sure. There you go. I'll, I'll get rid of the other wool, too. So, get rid of uh, all the blocks. Planks, wool, black wool, blah, blah, blah. I'll keep the, uh, the wool down there, just in case we need more. But, uh, there you go. Shears, emerald. I'll keep that. Sure, why not? Boom, I can get rid of that. Man, look at that. We have three totem of a dying now. So, that's great. Now, speaking of three, we're going to go up to the third floor, the third and final floor, as far as I know. So, let's get ready. Oh, man, this sword's at, like, half durability. No one in the hallway just yet. Oh, yeah, didn't we already... Oh, oh, skeleton. We already cleared, like, one or two rooms here already, yeah. Let's kill the skeleton, there we go. No one in here, that's good. We can clear it, let's put a torch. Just keep track, there you go. Still no one over there, anyone over here? Yeah, we cleared this one. I did just hear a ha or a ha. Coming from this direction though, so let's see. Let's let's get let's actually get a bow out. Just so we can do a full power five hit on any illagers. That oh, 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 speaking of such, there's one right there. We got him, and he oh, he died of fall or a fire, not fall damage. <laughs> okay, that way, no. Is this clear? This is cleared. Oh man, you guys. This is awesome. We're oh wait, this is that the end uh I don't know if this is like weirdly shaped or Nothing here. Okay, that's good. Or, or what, you know? But is the third floor just small? Ooh, I'm hearing more of them. Third floor might just be smaller, you guys. Holy heck. All right, let's clear this. I don't see anyone over here. No hidden chests. Of course, maybe maybe once we actually finish the... Oh, there's a guy right there. Maybe once we finish this woodland mansion, we'll hack and burn it down. But then again, there's this literally inside of a forest. So if I burn this down, it's going to burn the whole forest down. You know what Smokey the Bear said? Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> so don't want to let Smokey down, right? Alright, let's keep our sword out, just in case. No one in here, no creepers, nothing. So that's good, cleared. Let's put a torch back here to make sure nothing can spawn. Oh, another zombie. Zombie, take care of him. There's a hit. Oh, more zombies, a lot of zombies. Zombie and another, just a regular illager guy right there, so. Take care of both of them. Let's see, let's see how good the sweep is. Well, I didn't see the sweep effect right there, but I am on fire, so I need to... Man, there's no random water around here for me to... <laughs> oh yeah, how's our armor doing? We took, like, no actual damage from that, so that's great. Nice. All right, did see an illager in here. Let's take care of him. Snipe him down. That illager's still dead here. That's good. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. Oh, that creeper. Oh, he <laughs> the creeper took the shot. He literally took a bullet for him. Jeez. And there you go. That illager is down now. Is that really it? Is this the, is the third floor? Maybe there's a lot of secret hidden rooms in the uh, third. Oh, I didn't clear that room yet. Probably shouldn't have done that yet, but uh, it is getting kind of dark. I probably should have gone to bed while we're out. But uh, maybe maybe we're actually going to continue to investigate this while it's nighttime. Maybe it's going to be a little bit more dangerous. More and more illagers might spawn in here. I don't know. Maybe. Might want to keep our eyes peeled for that, though. Let's get our sword out. Nothing in here. Nice. All right. Looks like this is clear. This, this must be like the master bedroom or something. This is a big bed. Whoa, what in the world? Like weird banners up there. I, I kind of want to steal them, you know? <laughs> Just to have a little souvenir, I suppose, right? Uh, let's see. Can I reach? Oh, yep. There you go. Take that banner. Oh, God. What, what is that logo there? I don't know what that logo is. Can I reach that? Oh, man. I want it. There we go. Got that banner. Can I get that banner? Oh, it's so... Oh, oh, there we go. I got all three of them there. Nice. Are they stack? They do. Okay, that's good. They only take one inventory slot. I do hear footsteps. Where is it? Oh, is there a floor above me or is it in this room? Yeah, this room is empty. Uh... There's gotta be hidden rooms like all over the place. Hold on. Oh, wait. Yeah. Already cleared this room. I guess we put a torch over here, especially because it is nighttime. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, look at that. This is the roof. Is this really it? Is this really it? The the Woodland Mansion is gone. It's over. We beat it. I think. Maybe. Unless there's a basement I don't know about. But there's nothing else up here. The third floor is just tiny. Uh, I wish there was actually a bed here and not to... Oh, I wonder if there... No, I thought there might have been, like, a hidden chest under that. Although, there is a lot of random carpet here. Wouldn't be too surprised if there's actually... Nah, I don't see a chest there. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Pretty sure this would just be the roof of the second floor, right? Yep, the ceiling. So there you go. Is that really it? Did we just clear the Woodland Mansion? Maybe. And if that's the case, that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? Because we, we got three Totem of Undying, which is mainly what we came here for. And like didn't die <laughs> we didn't even lose any of the tone of undying in the process either so that's great nothing in this room i guess if anything i can kind of do a more thorough sweep of each room maybe to see if there's like a is there a hidden room here no 
Yeah, we, I, I, I remember that one. Didn't even clear this one, did I? Or at least I didn't put a torch down. Nothing here. Technically three double beds here. So uh, I'll put a torch back here. There we go. Make sure nothing can spawn. But I think that's it, you guys. Kind of underwhelming, if you ask me. Like, I, I thought this thing would be crawling with illagers. Or maybe it was, and I was just so, like, like MLG, so smart with my tactics, not bragging or anything like that. But, you know, sniping them down from a distance, being safe, taking care of them before they can take care of me. Definitely, I feel like, was the strategy to use. And it seemed like it worked out pretty well, because look at this. We survived, or we survived. We didn't die. We didn't lose any total of undying. And uh, we're going to make it out of here alive, it seems. So that's great. And I do still hear, like, zombies and stuff. I just don't know where they're at. They're spawning somewhere. Oh, God, there's a zombie right there. I do not... Yeah, there was a Sweeping Edge 3 effect I saw right there, but... Oh, skeleton in here. Yeah, I didn't put a torch on that corner, did I? Uh, there you go. This guy's down. I'm like, we, we came in here with expectations so high, you know, I was going to die here, possibly. The series is going to end, but I don't know. Maybe maybe I overprepared like I usually do for these things. That's probably the most likely candidate. Maybe this would be a little bit harder if I didn't have, you know, full set of diamond enchanted armor. And then, of course, the chest piece not enchanted. Uh, enchanted uh, diamond swords, armor, and oh, oh, they must be. Yeah, that must be why. Yeah, they must be spawning on the outside. And that's why I'm hearing them. Yeah, OK, that makes sense because we, we we've cleared all these, but torches everywhere. And I'm still hearing the noises and stuff, you know, so I guess that explains why I'm still hearing them because they're actually like outside. And I can hear them through the windows. OK, well, that makes sense. Uh, can't place torches anywhere because it's carpet, yeah. Oh, zombie over there that I suppose I'll take care of you with a crit hit and a dead hit. Oh, wait, no, he didn't hit him right there. There you go, now he's dead. Sheesh. Oh, he dropped the potato. Nice. Although I do, and speaking of potato and food, we do need to get a little bit of sustenance in us, so let's get ourselves some bread, regen all the way up to full health, and I think we're good to go, you guys. Is that really it? I hope not. Let's just go to bed real quick. Kind of want to go back to the, uh, to the top, to the roof of the Woodland Mansion. See if there's actually anything else we might have missed. Like, is there a... Yeah, look at that. There's a spider up top. But yeah, I guess three stories. Yeah, I guess that's it. There's not like a fourth story or maybe not a basement or anything like that. Boom, first story, second story, third story, and that's it. And yeah, you can see right there, there's nothing else right there. So, huh. I do kind of want to just... Oh, God. How did he get up here? Holy heck. Kind of surprised how he got up here. What in the world? <laughs> well, at least... He... Oh, God. Another one. What? Uh, what? There's a whole path of them. Well, there's a sweeping edge three effect right there. It got both of them. Uh, I have no idea how they're getting up here. Maybe from this little bit? Man, they must be doing some MLG parkour. They're even picking up like wooden planks that I must have thrown away. <laughs> Jeez, these guys are smart. For for wanting brains and not having brains, these guys sure do have brains, right? Sheesh, they're pretty smart. Or at least, you know, they're primitive zombie brains that are like half eaten. I guess that's still good enough brains to kind of figure out a path all the way up to me and I can kill me, I suppose. But I do want to go up to the third floor. Uh, past the third. Oh, God. What in the world? <laughs> he just fell out of a tree trying to kill me. <laughs> I think he was. But hey, let's go up to the third floor. Climb to the top. Maybe I'll steal some of the ladders from over here in one of these rooms. Was it this room or was it? Hold on. This is the second store. Where was the, uh... Was it on the first floor or was it third? I think... I don't know where it was. The... the wait, where am I going? <laughs> I'm lost now. Jeez. But... It, I think it was the first floor, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's go, let's go steal some of the ladders from there. That way we can kind of climb on top. Oh, and then again, we have blocks. Yeah, we have blocks. We don't need ladders. Let's just go up to the third floor and then try and like, or at least I guess we could just break out the window, huh? Go on to the roof of it. See if there's anything else we might have missed, you know? I think we can use this as a shortcut, right? Uh, I thought I broke into there. I guess not. Okay. <laughs> what about here? Uh, oh, yeah, this is the cat. Yeah, we, we dem- Oh, God. Crepper room. Oh, God. Single player lag. Single player lag. And creeper down, even though we had single player lag. Nice. All right, get out of here, zombie. Nice, he's dead. Yeah, I'll grab that XP. We can use that XP to hopefully enchant these bare diamond armor, diamond chest piece that we have, and at least get a really good one here in the future. So definitely want to keep that in mind. Yeah, we didn't like this cat up, did we? Yeah. Oh, this cat's like kind of got his. Oh yeah, I, I got rid of its claws. Yeah, I forgot about that. I was about to say like it's this cat has its like claws next to its body and stuff, but yeah, I remember we got rid of this claws to patch that. Oh god, a spider fell from the heavens. There you go, killed it now. <laughs> Now it's going back to heck, right? Instead of the heavens. <laughs> All right, let's go up to the third floor. Here's a here's a window I was talking about. Let's just break through it. Of course, using the sword durability, but whatever, right? Let's just use the uh, pickaxe. Sure, there you go. Not much better in that regard, but whatever. Let's break the... Uh, there you go. That way I can get back there. And, and now we're on the roof. Is there anything up here, though? If I go through this... Uh, yeah, I think... Yeah. There's nothing... There's like no hidden ceiling, it seems, up there. Kind of want to build up. 
and going on the actual straight up roof of the whole entire building just to see is there anything up there hopefully i don't heck and fall and take hardcore fall well they're gonna have found the following three right yeah there's nothing up here either no hidden fourth story or anything like that man really feel like we over prepared here you guys holy heck we traveled 13 th how many how many blocks we do like thirteen thousand, and then 17,000 blocks yeah basically <laughs> 30, we, we traveled like 30,000 blocks ish in total to get here and that's all we got <laughs> I'm like I'm, I, I can't really complain too much because the, the tone of undying is absolutely invaluable can't really place a price tag on that you know especially in a hardcore series where you know dying that's game over straight up at least now we have like what four lives basically with uh one tone of undying there two three so we have four lives we have one life for each total of undying, and then of course one life without the total of undying, so four lives in total. I, I suppose if I if I don't know, are, th are those guys going to despawn? Maybe, like or, or not spawn in anymore? Perhaps. If that's the case, then I guess that's all the total of undying we're ever going to get. But maybe maybe I shouldn't have placed down those torches. Maybe I should have just left them dark. That way, maybe they spawn in again, and I can get more total of undying or something like that. I don't know. But I, I guess now we can go back to the temporary base. And I suppose just kind of figure out what we're going to be doing from now on, huh? Where is the front? Uh, what is that? Oh, it's a sheep. <laughs> uh, I don't know where the front is. Guess I'll just go through the old-fashioned way then, huh? So, break through the heck of glass, with the heck of cheers. Here we go. <laughs> I'm grieving this place hardcore. I don't even care. It's not even, it's not my, bro it's not my, oh god, was that ice? No, that's water right there. Why is there water, though? There's water inside the, this, this, I, okay, I think I know what happened, huh? Yeah, this this mansion spawned like inside of like a lake or something like that. Yeah, see it's flooded on the inside there because like the mansion like like spawned in It like kept the water there I suppose huh because there are empty blocks in the water I guess filled in the empty blocks. So yeah, there's like a pond here and Yeah, that explains why there's like water all over the place and huh? Okay, well, I was wondering like are they supposed to like have random water? Is there like hidden lore that's supposed to be behind the why they're flooded or something like that? I guess not. I guess it's just <laughs> the coincidence of where this place spawned in had water all over the place already So I guess that explains it, huh? Here's the entrance over here. Yeah, here's the entrance So we can just go back to our mini base just kind of figure out like what are we going to take? What are we going to leave? Maybe maybe I'll get rid of the potions because I'm like they're basically invaluable now well, I'm like, they do still have value. They could heal me up and stuff, but I don't need them quite as bad. So I, I will be willing to get rid of, an, rid of an inventory space to make room for them. So we can get rid of the potions out of our inventory right now and see what we can grab right now. Uh, let's actually empty our inventory of trash. So, you know, planks, carpet, and other stuff, bones. I don't need that gunpowder. I, I, I don't know. I might keep these banners just as kind of a symbolic meme saying, hey, I defeated this place. Is there a, uh, oh yeah, there was. I did want to go dig through the other pill, like the pillager with the torch. Now that I have the shears, I never did that. Let's go, let's go see if there's actually a hidden chest inside of that guy. So, oh god, spider over there. Oh yeah, yeah, the first floor is where the, uh, the ladders were, yeah. But I think the guy with the pillar, the, uh, did I call him a pillager? An illager with the torch. I think he was over here, wasn't he? Yeah, because there's the hidden staircase room or whatever. And here's him, yeah, yeah. And I already dug through him, but I guess maybe that, I don't know. Oh, there, well there's his nose. Yeah, I already dug through them, but I didn't dig through them, like, all the way. There might be a chest, like, inside of them. Oh, God, what is that? Oh, is that a lapis block? Ooh! I think that's a lapis block. Yep, lapis lazuli block. Nice! Alright, well, hey, there's a little bit of a hidden treasure right there. Wonder if there's anything else inside of his head. I guess I'm kind of glad that we found... I guess... You know what? I did say, during our adventure over here, I was like, might want to make another enchantment table. All we need, I'm like, I have so many diamonds now. I have like, what, 11 diamonds or something like that? We only need two to make a, uh, I wonder if there's actually one inside the, the torch over there. Might want to go check. But we are, we are, we only need two for the enchantment table. We need, what, four obsidian, and then of course a book. Those, those are easy to come by. We, we can get those no problem. I don't think there's anything else inside this guy's head. I'm like, <laughs> excavating inside this pillager, or illager guy's head. Sheesh. Hey, look at that. I got, like, green wool for the first time, huh? Oh yeah, this is like 2D, so yeah, there's nothing inside there either. Okay. What about this? Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay, well, I guess I'm like, we found a lapis block there. That's not too bad, I suppose. Where's this? Oh, they must be spawning inside that, like, weird spider. Oh, God! Whoa! Holy heck. How did we take, like, no damage there? Did I die? No, I didn't. I was about to say, like, did I technically die? But I'm still alive because of the, the totem of undying. Oh, wait, why is F3 pulled up? I accidentally hit that. <laughs> Anyways, hey, at least we survived right there. I'm like, we took like half damage from a creeper explosion earlier, but we took like none there? 
I'm like, our armor's like the same as what we had before, and we don't even have the shield either, so whoa! Pure luck, maybe? <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, let's just empty our inventory of all the- Oh, almost just threw out the lapis. I guess we keep the lapis block, yeah. But yeah, once we have an enchantment table, we do need lapis to actually like enchant something. So that, that's good that we got that. So we'll be able to actually apply an enchantment to our armor or whatever else we might want to enchant here in just a bit. So definitely want to keep these here. Uh, I do have a mine I dug down. You guys remember like probably last episode by now, right? Uh, where was it? I was like, yeah, I'm going to make an anvil. Maybe we can like combine two diamond chest pieces together to, to get a full durability one that has the enchantment still. But no, that didn't work. But down here, something is where I dug down to find those like, I don't know how many diamonds I found, like two or three or something like that. I don't know. But of course, like 30 or so iron, 31 iron or whatever it was that I need for the uh, for the anvil. I don't know where the actual hole is that I dug. It might be like really far. Oh, yeah, here it is right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go down. Because there was lava down here, so we could, we could just splash down some water. Actually, I think I've already splashed down a lot of lava down there, so we just grabbed, like, what, four obsidian? Oh, that's another thing, yeah. If we want to go back, speaking of obsidian, that's going to be a way we can go back home very quickly. I just need to, like, go back to, like, episode, like, I don't know, what, like, 20, 25 or something like that. Find out what my XYZ... Oh, yeah, look at that, there's lava here. Find out what my XYZ was when we were in the nether... Find out, and then make another portal here, and then just go back to what that XYZ was, and then that'd be a quick, quick, quick way to go back home without traveling like another 30,000 blocks back, right? But would that be safe to take my horse through that? Maybe. It might be dangerous. I don't know. I've never taken a horse through it. I don't think I've taken anything through another portal, like creature-wise, you know? So it might be risky, but we do only need... Well, if we're going to be making another portal as well, thankfully... Oh, God. Uh, well, let's see. If we want to be digging, uh... Obsidian might as well just be on the block like this, right? Sheesh. And then, of course, place down some water so we can get more obsidian, make it nice and safe. So, do that. Boom. There you go. More obsidian below us. So, let's continue to grab this. But how many do we need? Like, what? We need two. Yeah, we need. No, four obsidian, two diamonds. Four obsidian for the enchantment table, so that's four. And then at least ten for the regular nether, nether portal. Pretty sure we can make a bigger nether portal if I want to put my horse through the nether portal, right? So, maybe I'll get like, I don't know. 15, 14, or something like that? I have no idea. Like, actual number I should get if I want to have another portal big enough for a horse to safely go through without, like, getting glitched through whenever it, like, goes through the other end of the portal. Well, yeah, then, yeah, if I'm, uh, I'd have to make the other portal bigger too, right? I don't know. I don't even know if I should take my horse through it. I'm like, if I'm, if I'm going through the nether portal, my horse needs to come too, or else it'll be shredded here, right? Oh, man, it'll be risky, though. And we don't have, like, golden lassos or anything like that, because we don't have any mods in here except for, of course, my shaders. How many do I have right now? I have 15. That's a good number. Let, let's stop at 20, though. That way we have a nice round number. In case I do want to make a bigger nether portal, we'll still be able to do it. But look at this. I don't know what efficiency my, my pickaxe has, but yeah, we're just blazing through this obsidian. I don't think it's, like, too crazy. Uh, actually, I think it is, like, efficiency 5, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So it is like the best efficiency you can get vanilla-wise, so that's good. I don't know how many I gra grab right there. Let's just grab one more. Get a nice round 20 number. So there you go. And yeah, you can see right now my XYZ 10. I think I found my diamonds. Like right here or something. Uh, well, there's lapis. Oh yeah, I think... No. Where did I find my diamonds? Oh, I think I... F no. Wait, where... I have no idea. I think I found them somewhere over here. So yeah, my XYZ was 13 when I found it, but there is more lapis right here, so I suppose if I need more, hey, I'll also grab it. And of course, coming across sugar cane to make the book, that's going to be easy, just got to come across some water in general, and there's going to be sugar cane uh, nearby, super duper easy, you don't need to worry about that at all. But maybe, maybe, maybe I won't worry about the uh, enchantment table right now. Maybe, maybe I'll just make the nether portal, go home. Do we have flint now? Is there, is there? Uh, I think I came across flint earlier on, I don't know where. It might have been in that regular cave. But we do need flint, uh, or gravel. I, I did come across gravel earlier, so... Of course we can get to flint out of gravel. Was it here? Oh, there's a little bit of iron I missed right there. Of course I don't need any more. <laughs> but there was flint somewhere, or there was gravel somewhere. Of course, giving me the opportunity to find flint. I just don't know where it was. Alright, guys, I'm back. Just got back from an extensive mining trip where I finally found some heckin' flint. Jeez. 
<laughs> Anyways, yeah, it, it, what's crazy is I, I found more flint, or I found more diamonds than I found flint, and I found diamonds before I found flint, so that's kind of crazy. Anyways, we finally have a lot of uh, flint now. All we need is just a flint, but I got six right there, so that's good. Not necessarily a bad thing. And we have, uh, in total, 19 diamonds, so that's great, especially if we make our way back home successfully, you know, without dying or anything like that, right? I'm like, if we do die... Or without a horse dying. I'm like, if we do die, we do have totem of a dying. We have totem of a dying, and of course, the totem of a dying over there. So we have four lives. Don't really need to worry about, you know, dying too much. But right now, let's just grab that iron. Let's make a flint and steel right now. Uh, I don't know if this is backwards or I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, there you go. I guess I'll put the extra flint up in case I need that for whatever reason. But the shear, it's not like I'm going to be using that. And I was thinking, like, where should I put this portal whenever I came back up here? And I think we might put it, like, right here in the entrance area. This might be a pretty good place to put it. Just so, you know, if I'm coming through the portal and I, I want to come into the uh, Woodland Mansion for whatever reason, then it's like right there, you know? So perhaps, maybe I'll get rid of this giant mushroom. There you go, get rid of that. Jeez. I'm like, yeah, hold on. I guess... Ooh, that might be kind of crazy, but... In my mind, I'm thinking like, if I want to bring back a mushroom, the, the Mushroom Island isn't really too far away from here. I could wrangle one up on a lasso, bring it all the way to this nether portal, or I guess I could just build another portal over there and then just make our way back home, right? That'd probably be a little bit easier than navigating through a heckin' roofed forest with a mushroom on a lead, right? Sheesh. Probably break like every five seconds. Anyways, let's, let's just make a, I don't know, a regular size nether portal? That'd be two on the bottom. Or should we make it a little bit bigger? And then, of course, we need to keep four for the, uh, the, the, the thing, the enchantment table. So, I guess we could try and make it, a, make it a three wide. Yeah, I'm like, if we make it a, let's just make it a normal size. Because it, it doesn't matter how big this one is, the, the portal that actually takes us home is going to be two by... Oh, I'm going to have to place down like dirt or something. It is, is going to be a two by three another portal. So there you go. And then now we just need to light this one up and we should be good to go. So, oh wait, did I? Oh yeah, I got it right. Yeah, I don't need to worry about that. So that's good. Anyways, get rid of that. Get the flint and steel and let's light this bad boy up. Hopefully, I'm like, my horse should be able to fit through that. I've made stables that were two by three area for a horse to fit through, so hopefully it doesn't like glitch out or anything like that if you go through that right now. But let's just take any of the, the most valuable cargo that we're going to want to take home, and then of course make our way through the nether portal, and then hopefully uh, I'll probably leave the anvil. Let's see. Diamonds, I'll take that. Oh god, wait. I just heard like an... a villager or an... Oh, it's the, uh, it's the guy! It's the tr- oh god! Oh, I have a heart. Not even that. It, like, healed up instantly. <laughs> hey, uh, it's the traveling trader guy. I kind of want to see what his trades are. Just out of pure curiosity. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, coming down here. A little bit easier. That way I don't have to, like, jump. And, uh, yeah, he fell down here. Nice. And, of course, I could kill him to get a lead, right? But I, I don't want to kill him. <laughs> I can get a slime ball for four emeralds. Bubble coral block and get that back. Fire coral block. Lily of the Valley, Azure, and Packed Ice. Yeah, that's garbage. I don't need that trash. Get your scam out of here, trash. <laughs> and here's where the zombies were coming up to my area, right? I think so. All right, well, let's just use that pathway to come back up here. Let's keep a bed over here in case I want to use it for whatever reason. Uh, Light Green Banner, I guess I'll get rid of that for right now. Just kind of... Uh, I'll keep the lapis. Get the dirt out of here. I don't need that trash. And then uh, I'll take the... God, I picked it back up. <laughs> Then I guess I'll take the old diamond chest piece, that diamond chest piece, the heart of the sea, torches, I'll just stack that up with the torches we already have, woodland explore map, we can keep that here, cactus, definitely want to keep that, lapis lazuli and the hoe, take that, take the lure two fishing rod, maggot blocks, I'll take those, dark oak saplings, a pretty good amount of them, 58 right there, I'll take those, and that's pretty much it, honestly, like, Oh, I put my compass up, too. I guess I'll take the compass. Yeah, that way, you know, I always have it right there. But I don't think I need anything else right there, to be quite honest. So, I suppose... Uh, and I probably need an inventory space for a lead. Yeah, we don't need the flint and steel anymore, so let me get the lead back from you. And just ride you back in through the nether portal. And I guess I'll have to go check on, like, episode whatever that was when we're, you know, making, like, different nether portals for different path uh, d directions in the nether. Hopefully nothing bad happens when we go through the nether portal with this... Oh, can we not... Oh, can we not do it with the... Ooh, I might have to... Hold on. Yeah, we can't do it while riding, but... Perhaps I could do it. Oh my gosh, this is going to be dangerous. Will this work? Oh my gosh, I've never done this before. Oh my gosh, is this going to- Is he- He might still just be in the overworld then. Uh, yeah, he's just still in the overworld. Oh god. Uh... Does that mean... That my horse is going to have to stay here? Does that mean Brownie's going to have to stay here? Does that mean... 
Sergeant Storage, or Sheriff Storage. I keep calling him the wrong. Yeah, he's still here. Okay, that, and I still have the lead technically. To, hold on. What if I did this, though? Instead of me going through, let me see if I... Oh, my God. It worked for him right there. Hold on. It, oh, my gosh. <laughs> we're in the nether, you guys. In a really, really, really new part of the nether because we're lagging down to 98 FPS. Oh, my gosh. And, of course, lava is spawning in for the first time ever. I suppose I... Oh, God. My horse's health, like, deteriorated a ton right there. Wow. I wonder if he lost a lot of health because he, like... There's, like, fire here, obviously. But maybe he lost a lot of health because he caught on fire for a second or maybe he glitched in a block or something like that. I don't know. Definitely want to wait until he's up to full health. But what are we at XYZ now? Uh, oh, God. Hit the wrong button. We are negative 17, 17, and 21, 32. I don't know where that is in comparison... Oh, I wonder if I could actually find torches anywhere here. Symbolizing, hey, I've been here before, you know? I doubt it. I feel like I'm just way too far away. Like, even, even 30,000 blocks, like, divided by 8 or whatever. That's still, like, thousands of blocks right there, you guys. Like, oh my gosh. Mm, yeah, I'm like, right now, I, I'm not seeing anything familiar. And that lava just, for the first time, just started pouring down, you know? And it's symbolizing that we're in a fresh, brand new area of the nether. And he still hasn't started regening. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of concerned about that, you guys. I don't know if I'm going to drag him through the nether portal one more time, or... Oh god. Oh! Is that our, uh, baby pig man right there? Okay, I thought he was about to attack me. Sheesh! That was another fortress over here, but I guess not. Interesting. But we do have a ghast somewhere. Definitely want to avoid it, because my heckin' guy... Oh wait, hold on, can I... I kind of want to go back to... Man, I need a fence. I need a time up or something like that. Hmm... Let me, let me grab some netherrack. That'll probably be the best thing I do right now. Drop the lapis block, just temporarily. Grab some netherrack. There we go, grab that. And just kind of encase him in some netherrack real quick. And then what I want to do is, is grab a- Oh god, see, this is this is why. Oh, this is why I kind of want to encase him in a, in a, in a thing of netherrack. Just, cause, just so we can't, like, wander off like that, you know? And I can die or anything like that. Don't want that to happen. Holy heck! Alright, let's, uh, let's make it a little bit taller. Let's make it- like this. Make, make like a little enclosure for him, you know? Like this. There we go. Then of course just kind of stick him in this enclosure and just wall it off, make sure he can't escape. But in a good way. That way he can't like die or anything like that. Wander off to his own heckin' death. So, it's just kinda... Here we go. This is... Could be better, but whatever. At least it'll hopefully be effective, right? Grab some more netherrack. And... I'm like, I don't have a fence right now. That's, that's one reason why I wanna... See if I can push him into there. Oh god, I might have to ride him into there. Or, uh... Oh, man! There we go. Yes! Okay, I think I think we've got it. Okay, let me get the lead back. Uh, there we go. Get the lead back. That's great. Then, uh, let's just kind of keep him in here, so... Uh, there we go. And then I'll put a torch right here. Okay. Whew. Hopefully, hopefully nothing happens to him. Hopefully he doesn't, like, wander. Hopefully gas doesn't, like, shoot a fireball at him or anything like that, you know? And he dies, but he's already pretty low already. Okay, well, at least we landed through here. We didn't, like, end up in some random location. <laughs> you know, so... Suppose I can go grab his fence. As well as, let me go watch my own video. And find out what the XYZ of our base... Like, our home base nether portal. The one that'll take us back to our, our village. I guess I'll go see what the XYZ of that is. That way I could, uh, you know, make our way back home. But there you go, grab that fence. Oh, God! Oh, I didn't take any fall damage there, nice. There you go, grab that fence, so now I can tie him up. And, one thing I wanted to try out. Throwing a health potion on him. Will that heal him up? Perhaps. Is there anything I can get rid of right now, though? Oh, I can get- Oh, I've got a totem one dying on me right now, though. Oh, yeah, I've got this weird efficiency one axe. I don't need that garbage. Get that trash out of here. <laughs> so let's grab a, uh, a health splash potion. And I suppose I'll just put the leads up there, sure. And then, of course, let's go splash him with um, some health potion. Hopefully that's gonna heal him up. And if it does, then that's great. If it doesn't, then I don't know. So let's just go- let's go see if that even works. Hopefully it does. It is getting kind of- Ah, let's go- let's go to- uh, to bed real quick. Even though in the nether it doesn't matter, because, you know, if you sleep on a bed, a heckin' explodes, but let's just, <laughs> just go to bed, turn it to daytime, then go straight back to the nether, and hopefully heal up our horse. So hopefully he's not gonna die, or at least not die as easily, whenever we, uh, oh god. Oh, there's not that over there. Whenever we, uh, hopefully make our trek back home, because we're, we're probably gonna be running away from ghasts and stuff like that, and I might have to actually grab those health potions. I wonder if we could splash a horse with a, with a speed potion to make him go faster. I have never tried that out before, you guys. Anyways, okay, at least we spawned back in over here in the same location, so that's great. And there he is right there, there's his armor clipping through, so that's awesome. And let's see, let's splash him with this. Boom. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! 
Oh no! Oh god, what? Single player lag, single player lag has been activated! Oh god. Uh oh. Yeah, I guess, yeah, because these guys are undead. These guys are undead. They are, uh, they're aggroed on me now. And of course, Brownie took a little bit of damage right there from the heckin'- Yeah, but he did get healed up there, so that's great, that's awesome. And there's a zombie there too. Man, that sucks. <laughs> Of course, my heckin' luck! My heckin' luck! There's a heckin' Pikmin right there, right in splash range of ra right in splash radius, and he got damage from it. Maybe I'll just have to sit here and wait, wait it out. Hopefully they're not gonna, hopefully they're gonna de-aggro on me eventually. But, uh, we are slowly regen and normally, it seems. He was down, like, a half a heart, he just gained back another half heart, now he's back up to two hearts right there. Of course we could feed him, but I don't know if we have anything we can feed him, so... That's, that's kind of what I'm concerned about, you know, so... Man, I just... Ah, we have these, ah, these zombies and stuff around here. Pig zombie pigmen too. Hopefully they de-aggro. I wonder if I leave and come back if they'll, they'll forget about me. Maybe. That might be worth trying out, you guys. Hold on. We got the fence there. I might as well tie him up. Just, you know, just this extra security to make sure he doesn't go anywhere. Because I am going to be breaking out of here. So, uh, tie you up. Boom. There you go. And I'm going to be escaping out some direction. Oh god, there's a zombie right there. Man, that was so foolish of me, you guys. Holy heck. Let me let me dig through this way. Here we go. Of course, my horse cannot fit through this, so that's great. But our Pikmin right outside, ready to kill me. There we go. You're on fire. You're dying. A lot of I'm only picked up my lapis block. Yeah, I completely forgot about the lapis block, you guys. Oh my god, there's so many Pikmin around here. So many Pikmin! Oh my god, tickle, tickle, tickle your feet. Tickle your feet. Give me those gold nuggets, Ada. I gotta be making some gold ingots out of all these gold nuggets. Okay, at least I got my lapis block back, or at least I see it on the ground over there. I guess we can go grab it back. I guess that, in a way, that zombie prevented that lapis block from despawning. Because it would have despawned by now, I'm sure. Get rid of the rotten flesh. Okay, we got rid of all the, uh... Oh man, that was a lot of levels right there. Not bad, not bad. At least this thing's still lit up, because I don't have my foot. Yeah. I should definitely have a flint and steel on me at all times, in the nether, in case the heckin' portal dies. I can just light it back up, right? Yeah. That definitely, definitely want to do that. So either I just killed all of them and they're, they don't, they're not aggro on me anymore, or going in and out of the nether portal will like reset the aggravation of them on me. So hopefully I'm going to be, hopefully they're going to be neutral with me now, right? <laughs> hopefully. But I do, like I just said, maybe we can go back and, uh, if we have regular, yeah, wh why did I not turn this lapis into a lapis? Well, I'm probably getting comments. Like I literally have the exact amount to actually make. Uh, an even amount of nether, or, uh, god, an even amount of, uh, lapis blocks there, so I don't know why I didn't do that until now. But yeah, I definitely want to keep a, uh, flint and steel on me, just in case we do heckin' kill a, uh, another portal, or a uh, gas does, or whatever else, then at least we'll be able to light it right back up, right? So that's great. I might want to get a couple health potions as well, just in case we need it, for either healing me up, or healing up my heckin' horse if it dies, or gets damaged, or anything else like that, you know, so... I feel like I need to go uh, pause the recording real quick, go watch my video, find the coordinates. And I guess we're going to go on a little adventure here in the nether to try and find our way back home through the home nether portal. So go to pause the recording real quick, find the XYZ we need to look for in the nether, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. <laughs> 